Breaking news coming into our newsroom in the last 10 minutes. Green Bay police are asking people to avoid the intersection of Military and Shano Avenue as there is significant flooding around the area and roadway. There is some wild weather hitting our area, bringing in rain, wind, and a wintry mix. So let's take it over to our meteorologist Keith Gibson in the First Alert Weather Center. Keith. Tonight, the school board didn't discuss exactly what the lawyer is investigating. That discussion was held during closed session. But I can tell you that the Surrey School District has faced intense criticism from parents, staff, lawmakers, and law enforcement. But what else can you tell us about the importance of that building in the community? Yeah, that's a very good question, Cammie. As you can see, the building is behind me, it's charred, but one of the neighbors that we spoke to says that this was used as an open mic night on Wednesday. Here to say a higher bond was needed for both men because they have a lengthy criminal history dating back decades. We just heard from staff that uh, some people have come in, but not more than they expected. Now, the fans that we talked to were excited about the Rogers announcement. We talked to fans from all over the world. It's been four months since 36-year-old Jason Mendez Ramos' body was found discarded and burned and now we've learned that a witness is telling police it was likely over drug money. I just finished speaking to the Department of Corrections who say this is a 53 million dollar investment in the agency. Excitement is building for the new Chick-fil-A that's opening right next to the Bay Pork Mall Plaza. Now for those who are traveling Chick-fil-A did share a map on how traffic will be routed. Hey, hello, Cammy and Bill. He just showed up right here. I'll move out the way. There he is with his dog, Nick Baumgartner. Not only is he a champion of American champion, but he's a champion here in Iron River. There he is in front of his school, West Iron County High School. Everyone is just excited. They've been waiting for him. Um, it's, it's kind of been delayed about 20 minutes. There he is pumping his fist taking selfies with kids. This has just been amazing. Again, 40-year-old Olympian, the oldest snowboarder to have ever won. And also just into our news and within the last hour, two River police, two Rivers police are investigating the death of a 27-year-old woman. Two Rivers police say they responded to a house at around one in the afternoon today on the east side for a woman found unconscious and not breathing.